Hello everyone, today I am going to show you guys how to create these hatch patterns in Revit. In the later part of this video, I have also shown that how you can download a hatch pattern from the internet and use it in your file. But before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start with the tutorial. This is the floor plan in which I am going to place some hatch patterns. First of all, I am going to place a um, hatch pattern in this brick wall. So for that, click on this wall, go, click on edit type, go to the material browser of uh, brick. And here you can see that the, this is the pattern which is going to upload when you cut it in a section so you can select any type of hatch pattern you want from here i'm going to click on this steel and then i'm going to click on this little pencil icon of edit properties here you can place give it a new name i'm going to name it brick cut pattern then click ok You can see that this hatch pattern is not aligned with the wall. So for that, again, go to the properties box of the hatch pattern and then click align with element here. And then click OK. Now the pattern is aligned with the wall. If you want to change the scale of this hatch pattern, again, go to the uh, edit properties box of hatch pattern as i want to decrease the scale so i'm going to write 0 0.5 here then click ok the scale is now changed There is another method by which you can apply the hatch patterns in the floor plan. So for that, go to annotate, click on region and then select all those regions or you can, or you can also draw that particular region on which you want to apply the hatch patterns. Now in this, I'm going to select uh, all the plan of all these columns. After the selection, click on edit type, then click on this icon here and then select any type of pattern you want. I'm going to make it solid fill of black color. You can also change the color if you want. And now the hatch has been applied. I am also going to apply this same um, hatch pattern of solid fill on these on the structure as well now this floor plan has basically wood pattern so for that click on it open its material browser from here And now you are not going to apply the pattern on cut pattern. You have, you have to apply the hatch pattern on the foreground because this floor, pat, this floor is not cut in the section as compared to the brick wall. So select this wooden board. You can also change the scale from here or change the name click ok and now you can see that uh, 
H pattern has been applied. Now, if you apply this uh, uh, H pattern on this floor with the help of uh, region command in the annotate tab, the H pattern will be also be applied upon the furniture, like I have shown in this video. So it is better to apply hatch patterns from the material browser. Now, if you want to create, uh, add some hatch pattern from the internet, go to this website or any other website you want. From where you can download these hatch patterns and select and download any type of hatch pattern you like or you want to apply on your floor plan or section or elevation anywhere you want so I'm going to download this hedge pattern save it anywhere on your computer then again go to material browser go to hedge uh, and uh, uh, properties box of hedge pattern and load this file in this box give it a new name the loaded pattern is not visible in the preview panel because the scale is very large so try to decrease it I'm going to apply that 0.001 scale then click on align with element click OK again click OK and now you can see that the pattern which you have downloaded from the internet has been applied on the floor plan so that's all for today i hope you like this video if you have any difficulty or query related to revy you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe